All right, guys, I appreciate everybody taking time to check out my latest offering here on Cars and Bids. I have a 2014 Cayenne diesel with only 97,000 miles. We're gonna do a little walk around here. Um, let's go ahead and pop the hood and turn on the lights. And then we're gonna do a uh, interior tour. I'm gonna do my best to kind of demonstrate that everything is functioning properly. Now, granted, this car doesn't have a whole lot. It does have a fair amount of doodads and options, but I'm gonna do my best. So, I wanted to point out, we have PPF here. We have PPF here. It is not on the front bumper, so that leads me to believe that it is possible that the uh, front bumper has been repainted, resprayed, um, but it's hard to tell because you can't take paint meters on plastic. So we see all our uh, lights are functioning here. Now the wheels do have, uh, you know, some minor uh, wear on them, as one might expect. So this chrome strip at the bottom of the trunk is starting to bubble. Ah, uh, it's really common. That's something that really bothers you. Um, they can be bought fairly cheaply. Even OEM aren't that expensive. And then uh, you can see some scuffs on the top of the rear bumper, which is pretty, you know, pretty standard. So the car, so the, it has been debadged. Porsche Cayenne. It is possible it came like that from the factory. Um, or another possibility is this scuffo right, this ding right here, right here. Uh, maybe, so the Cayenne is under, supposed to be under the Porsche. So maybe the Cayenne badge uh, was damaged and the owner at the time just kind of said to hell with it and took them both off, both off. And I don't think it looks bad. I think it looks clean. Um, it's not something... I would replace prior to sale because I have a feeling uh, this might be the preferred look. So if I were to replace it, the next owner might just take it back off. So we have the auto open. We have the uh, WeatherTech mat in the back. It's nice. So because this car has uh, keyless go, our uh, Porsche entry and drive. <coughs> You can lock it and walk away, or you close the hatch and walk away and it will lock, or you can just close the hatch. We have a little dingo here on the door. So we're gonna demonstrate the uh, rear sun blinds. So I also wanted to show everyone something. Um, you can slide the rear seat up. Well, I might have to sit in it. And we're gonna demonstrate here uh, heated seats, rear work. So there's actually a latch under the rear seat. And you can slide, so I slid the whole rear seat up. And you may think, well, that's pretty stupid. I'm never gonna use it. But uh, my wife and I found we had a um, an older dog that went everywhere with us, a little Cavalier King Charles. And she wasn't able to make the, the uh, 
So if we put her in the back, she would get stuck back here because she was older. But we can move the seat up only in a Porsche. Then she was able to, you know, climb up on this console and then ride with me or ride with my wife. So it's an interesting uh, feature that you don't really think has any functionality, but it does. And then the seat backs, um, the seat backs do actually recline a little bit. Ooh. So that's nice. A leather bag here looks like. I mean, I'm not gonna, and headliner's not falling down or anything. You know, people always say, no one's ever sat in the back seat. Well, it is possible no one ever sat in the back seat. Okay, we're gonna go over to the passenger side. We're gonna do the sunblind. And we're gonna go over to the passenger seat. My wife calls this the crumb catcher. So these are the 14-way seats. And actually, when you're talking about a Cayenne, 14-way is actually a lot nicer because when you have the 18 ways on a Cayenne, the seat bolster is so high, it's actually really hard to climb into the vehicle. Okay, now we're going to jump in the AC here. Uh, put the window up. So all the windows work. We're going to turn off the hazards. Sunroof. Check. And you can vent it check all good there okay so over here we have our blind spot warning you can tell it's ready to go when that light lights up light lights up okay we have our powerful mirrors we have our powerful mirrors we have our mirror adjustment Have our locks, seat memory, windows. So you can open the rear hatch from here. It does work. So now we're gonna go back around and close it. Keep the bugs out. Okay. Alright, we're gonna do the e-brake. Check. All right, we've already shown we don't have any messages. The onboard computer, this whole section here. Everything is good here. Whatever you want to look at, I always leave it on that one. So we're at temp, everything is good. Oil level is good, oil pressure is good. Turn signals, cruise control, horn, wipers. All right. Um, so everything on the driver's seat works properly. Lumbar, etc. Don't really have a lot of problems with the PCMs. Everything is good there. To so I like both sides to be the same. I'm a little OCD. You may not care. If you don't care, you just turn off sync and then you can do whatever you want. Rear defrost, front defrost, temp. So I'm also controlling the passenger side because I have it on sync. So we have our heated seat, 
cold seat. So my wife and I joke, um, the Cayenne saved our marriage. Not really, obviously. I just really like, when I drive, I like uh, uh, the, the fan to be on my feet and my body. She only likes it on her body. She does not like air on her feet. So pretty much every car these days is going to have dual climate control, dual temperature. Not every car has dual air distribution. I mean, they might now. The last car we got her, we got her uh, 21 Cayenne, so it's been a couple years. But all the Mercedes and the Land Rover and the this and the that, they didn't have this. So, it's a cool little Porsche thing. And you think it doesn't matter, but it's nice to have. All right, so now we have our four-wheel drive. Off-road mode on. <clears throat> Everything is good there. Go back to road. Off-road mode off. Everything is good there. Sport mode. Check. You can turn off uh, traction, PSM, whatever you want to call it. Turn it off if you want to. Turn it back on. Right. We have our USB and auxiliary jack. <clears throat> have all our various buttons on the console there. Alrighty guys. That pretty much sums this one up. So the best, I think the thing that really makes this one stand out is the, uh, the low mileage. I know I mentioned that before. Um, you know, for a 10-year-old diesel, that's uh, that's low. Because <clears throat> most of the time, most people drive the diesel, they buy the diesels to drive them, so they get a, you know, they're known to last a lot longer than gas motors, and they get better gas mileage, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, uh, to be a 14, excuse the yawn, uh, 97,000 miles, I'm doing pretty good. Super clean, no smells, no odors, no goofy, goofy, goofy. My detail guy did go a little heavy on the uh, interior dressing, but if that's not your style, it can just wipe off. Some people like it. Alright, good deal guys. If you have questions, just let me know. Thanks.